This is the timer lock. It consists of battery backup, a power supply, and a timer, and a, a mortise lock, electronic mortise lock. Plug in the two little connectors to connect the power supply to the mortise. Set the timer. Make sure all these little tangs or tabs are down. When you pull them up, that's up. This is all down. Set the time by moving the, the little minute hand clockwise until the time aligns with this arrow right over here. This is the PM side, this is the AM side. It's pretty easy to read. So when you set that, go ahead. In this condition, the unit is locked. When you have the tanks up, for whenever you want your timer to open the lock, you push those up like that. So currently it is locked and you can go in there. There's a key override to open the lock and <clears throat> always retracts on the inside. So no matter if you, if you want to check it, really not supposed to use the outside dial, but we're going to use it slightly until it hits one of those tangs to rotate very slowly. And then you'll hear it. And then now the unit is open. So when it hits the tangs that are up, the unit is open. So when you go inside, you throw the thumb turn, and then the unit is locked on the outside. When you leave the bathroom or whichever room it is, you, you rotate the lever, the unit on the outside is now open and it shows vacant. And throw that again, throw the deadbolt, shows locked, the unit is locked, retract, and everything's open again. When the timer goes, let me push these down. When the timer goes back slowly, Boom. It's now past these tangs. I'm going to put them all down. The unit is now locked. So you can get in with a key and go inside. Other than that, that's pretty much it. This is uh, plugged into the wall. You can wire it however you want. It's got battery backup and uh, that's it. Thank you.